Hello and welcome to FastTube headquarters. FastTube means the Formula student team of TU Berlin. It's actually an acronym. But this is TIB, the Technology and Innovation Park of Berlin. And whenever we at FastTube talk about being in the workshop, we say, are you in TIP? Because this is the entire building that we sometimes can use. A lot of university departments and also research departments are housed here, but for us, the most important one is TIB 13, there in the back, which is what we're going to visit today. Come along. Hello and welcome to FastTube headquarters. Today we're going to give you a little tour uh, of our offices and workshop and uh, maybe also introduce you to a couple of things that we're currently working on and to people that are working here. This is the hallway to our offices and it's also shared with the department for motor vehicle research. Technically, our first room is the kitchen, where we always make our lunches, and our fun office, where we spend our time not only eating lunch, but also playing table football, darts, making food, or spending time together. Next, on display here, you can see the achievements that we made in the 2023 season and over there in all the other seasons. The 2023 season was our most successful yet with three podium positions in European events. This is our project management office where mostly our sub-team leads and the team lead leadership is uh, seated and uh, take care of the daily tasks. This office is called the software office by the software engineers, the design office by the CAD engineers and also has some other names, for example, the Aero Office by our CFD engineers. Uh, everybody else is working here and uh, constantly working together on whatever design needs to take place. The second to last office is our electrical and powertrain office. This is where we uh, do most of our electrical engineering, where we do soldering, where we have our 3D printers, and also where the drivetrain team uh, does their design work. Lastly, this is our operations slash media office, uh, this is where the operations team that manages all of the rest of the team holds their meetings and uh, does their work, mostly in terms of sponsorship contact, in terms of social media and other work. Also, statics are worked on here. Next up, we'll head into our workshop. And now, welcome to our holy halls. This is our workshop where we have all of the space that we need to build our Formula Student race cars. This, what you can see here, is the FT22 built for the 2022 racing season and over there is the FT23 for the 2023 racing season. This car is the one that you saw all of the awards above from. It's been our most successful one yet and uh, therefore it has a special place here in the workshop. Some of the things we are most proud of for the most recent season is our full carbon fiber steering wheel, which is a very close marriage of composite manufacturing, electronics and software design. And also our most recent development together with our power ground effect device are these carbon fiber rims together with titanium 3D printed wheel rim stars. As you can see, we have these nice booths here that we can work on, sort of like pits during events, with a lot of space where every little thing has its own space. We also have some more space back there in another part of the workshop, back there where we do most of our metal work and also in the engine test stands over here. This is our metal manufacturing shop. We have two lathes and one manual mill, which can be operated by some of our members that have received the necessary introductions. Lastly, here in the back, we have another working plate. This whole area was actually used mostly for holding trash until two years ago when we offered the local uh, university department to clear it up and then also get the space back for us. Next, this is our only and last motor test stand where our combustion team can use this whole setup to fully test the motor and all of its parameters uh, to completion even before having it in the car and testing it on track. Two of these former motor test stands have been converted by us to be used as composites workshops. Uh, this is very convenient because we have really good ventilation here and also uh, good insulation from the rest of the workshop. As you can see here, 
We store our composite fibers here, for example, glass fiber, aramid fiber and carbon fiber. Also, since we are now also working with pre-impregnated fibers, those are stored in this little freezer box over there. We have our honeycomb structures for doing more structural laminates and also some test pieces in the back. This is mostly used for preparation and storage though. The next one over there is actually used for laminating the composite fiber parts. Lastly, welcome to this uh, former motor test stand, which is now our laminating test stand. Here we do almost all of our lamination processes, except for the really large ones, for example, the underbody, which we do in the basement. We have our safety equipment over here and the work area over here and our vacuum pumps there in the back. We use three different kinds of shapes during lamination, which have different degrees of complexity. For example, we can do flat uh, laminates on this glass plate. We can do 2D laminates on XPS foam, which is cut with a hot wire. Or for the really complex shapes, the 3D ones, we can mill them out of wood on a CNC mill and then seal them, lacquer them to have a really clean surface that we can then put our laminate on top. This is, for example, how we make our rearing main plane. This is the last part of our workshop here in the second floor. This is actually the alumni workshop. Here they work on restoring old vehicles. This, for example, is the 2019 combustion vehicle, which is currently being fully restored from the base up after it was converted to be our driverless test vehicle for 2020. Currently, they have put the motor back in, the entire frame is rebuilt and the suspension as well, and they are now working on the wiring harness. In this room, we also have another mill and most importantly, our welding table with proper ventilation and everything else that's needed for safe welding. Next, we find ourselves in the basement, which in this part is shared with the entrance hall. But most importantly, this down here is actually a crash test track where the department for vehicle safety is occasionally performing crash tests with various vehicles. Next, we head on into the aero basement which is sort of their secret place to do all of the really dirty work. As you can see around here, it's a bit more cluttered, but that's okay because they really have to do some of the dirty work. This is the hot wire cutter that I was talking about earlier. And here, some alumni are working on their master's thesis of building a one to three model of our car to validate our CFD simulations in a wind tunnel environment. This is also where you'll find our CNC mill, which we not only use to cut forms out of wood and foam for laminating parts out of, but also for aluminium, which we occasionally use to, for example, cut cooling fins for our accumulator. Lastly, this is what I call the museum. This is where we hold most of our old cars. Only some of them are stationed at various sponsors or university departments. But these, for example, are some of the vehicles that really hold some history of fast tube. For example, over there, the first car with an actual aero uh, package. Back there, the first car, which we built in 06, 07. All this, actually our first electric vehicle, which we built in 2010, before that project was dissolved and restarted in 2018. If you know what to do with the old tires, please tell us. <laughs> Here in the outside area, we actually work on the high voltage accumulator whenever we need to, which we can do here in the back where it's also protected from rain and right next to our battery storage room. This is our battery storage room, which is only allowed to be walked into by our high voltage certified technicians. Um, we have our 2024 battery here uh, being worked on and our older batteries are stored in this safe locker for batteries, we have our 2023 water-cooled battery here, our 2022 battery over there, and the 2021 battery down in the bottom. This is also where we store our test pieces, which we also can use to demonstrate our new technologies. For example, as can be seen here, this is our thick wire bonding technique that we use to contact each cell of our accumulator together. This is our 2024 accumulator segment. It is using thick wire bonding as well as our last two accumulators, but we actually ditched a lot of our bus bars in between to save weight and are now bonding directly from cell to cell. 
Also, the VTSense PCB that picks up temperatures and voltages is now way smaller and contacts directly to the PCB on top that is used to monitor all of those values. The cells are arranged in a four parallel 15 in series configuration in each of the segments with, of which we take seven and put them in series to get our system voltage of 450 volts roundabout. And that's it already. Thank you for coming or watching and I hope we can at some point greet you here in person. See you!